or call 888-9-TCM-SHOP. I have to watch every couple of years. I love this film for many reasons. Every frame really is a piece of art. It's really storytelling done so well. <laughs> it's just a great movie. And essential. To be or not to be, 1942. This is a story with such clever twists and turns. This movie has the Lubitsch touch in spades. Carol Lombard is as good as it gets in To Be or Not To Be. Without a doubt, To Be or Not To Be is Jack Benny's finest hour in films. Someone walked out on me. Oh. Tell me, Maria, am I losing my grip? Oh, of course not, darling. I'm so sorry. But he walked out on me. Oh, maybe he didn't feel well. Maybe he had to leave. Maybe he had a sudden heart attack. I hope so. This is one of my favorite comedies for so many reasons, to be or not to be. Uh, for one, it's a Lubitsch film, and I love the Lubitsch films, and that so-called Lubitsch touch. Yeah. And this is it in spades. Also, I love it because it's such a daring film, because it came out right at the time that these events in this film were taking place. Yes when Poland was occupied by the Nazis. Yes. It was very hard to get anybody to want to laugh at the Nazis in 1942 and all these things were going on. Well, they had to make this film independently because of that. Yeah, and I really admire that, the courage that it took to make that movie and to try to get away with it. And he didn't totally get away with it because a lot of people didn't go see it because they didn't want to see a comedy about the Nazis. Yeah. And also because Carol Lombard had just died, yes. who co-stars in it. She just Two been months killed, before yeah, the film premiered. Killed in premiered. a plane crash. We've talked about films on The Essentialist that I was actually very nervous to even discuss the subject matter because I find that I'm so sensitive and never want to take a misstep when it's a sensitive subject matter. On the other side of the coin, the polarity is I admire people so much who are willing to bring levity to something that is unchangeable and has occur occurred um, and can do so with an amazing hand. It really is a risk. Um, so I, I am always in awe of someone because I I certainly wouldn't, and I don't think most people would, would touch it. Mm -hmm. Also, he was very uh, bright, Lubitsch, in casting Jack Benny in the lead. Because Jack Benny was known to everybody as a comedian, very popular on the radio, yep. not so much in movies, although sure. he made occasional movies. But everybody knew if Jack Benny was in it, something that was going to be funny. Just a minute. What'll happen to me? They'll kill me. Well, we're going to keep our fingers crossed. Good. So they approached it as a comedy, not as something that was maybe kind of risky. You well, know. I think a, a, a great way to approach that type of risk is to be incredibly intelligent about it. These characters are wonderfully challenged in how they're going to continually save the day. However, a lot of the comedy is coming left of where the center of the sensitive subject is. It's coming through Jack Benny's character, who is the quintessential actor who keeps making it about himself and keeps messing up the mission, right. and that they have to keep sort of layer upon layer cleverly getting out of what he keeps you know, undoing them into. And I think that the source of the comedy coming from there is much safer than uh, approaching the sensitive subject. Mm -hmm. And Carol Lombard's wonderful in it too. Jack Benny and Carol Lombard, I mean, that's an odd pair, but the combination of those two is so delicious in that. Don't be a prima donna. Whenever there's a chance to take the spotlight away from me, it's becoming ridiculous the way you grab attention. Whenever I start to tell a story, you finish it. If I go on a diet, you lose the weight. If I have a cold, you cough. And if we should ever have a baby, I'm not so sure I'd be the mother. I'm satisfied to be the father. The way that Ernst Lubitsch approaches actors in this film, they are egocentric, they are full of themselves. I think the dialogue and the pacing and the wit is so brilliant. Right. Um, the to be or not to be, the way that, you know, you'll look for every time that line is said, a certain something happens. Yes, and it introduces Robert Stack to a lot of people. Yes. Young Robert Stack, who gets involved in that line, to be or not to be. <laughs> Yes, indeed. It's so good. And the film ends also with the perfect snap and yeah. bang that you would expect from the rest of the film. Yeah. It's just a delight. Yeah. And let's see it. Here it is. A great example of the Lubitsch touch from 1942 
to be or not to be.